and his angels they pray on Muhammad, not for Muhammad, they, correct? The, the, okay, the meaning of that hmm. from the tafsir means they praise him or they, 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 um, okay, I wanted to focus with you. Huh? I, I wanted to focus with you according to the verse, yeah. we have the following situation. Look, if he said pray, he would have said, Saluna, um. Focus, focus uh, with me, focus with me, focus with me. So we have the yeah. following situation. This is your prophet Muhammad in the middle. And we will make him blue because he is heavenly man. Blue. This is Muhammad. Letter M. And now we have Allah here. Allah. Also, just before you start, no, wait, um, you wait. know, the and here we have the angels. Let us draw the angels, those are the angels. Those are their wings, those are Islamic angels, they look different. And here we have the believers. So, here we have Osama bin Laden. <laughs> No, that guy's uh Yeah, courage. yeah, that guy, yeah, yeah, the guy. Yeah, you know the thing. He's not he's not Muslim. Okay, not a Muslim. So now we have Allah. We have the angels. We have the Muslims. All of them they are doing one thing, which is praising Muhammad, correct? Yeah. Okay, they are praising Muhammad to who? What do you mean to who? He's just there's okay, no two who. You work, you, let's say I am a manager in a company and you work for me, but my manager, I am the manager, but there's a hire, there's somebody who owns the company, correct? Yeah. So I'm going to praise you now and I'm going to send an email to the boss, the big boss says to him, I praise this guy for his good job. Do I agree? Okay. So Allah is included in that. Allah is writing the email and the angels and the believers and they are sending email praising Muhammad send an email to who to everyone what do you mean to everyone you see I when just you told you I just told you that, that, I am a manager verse. you work for me I'm going to send email to the big boss that Ahmad he is very good I'm going to praise your work so I'm going to send an email to the owner of the company huh so he can hire you, give you a better job, increase your salary, your position. So that's not how it is, though. No. What's no? That's, 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 you know, you're, you're forcing a situation. They're praising him because he's the he's the, he's the messenger because he's doing. So what? what? He's a messenger, my friend. This is Allah. This is Allah. Allah. Uh, yeah, he's this is him so, basic. Listen, listen, listen. Really okay, he is a messenger. Your messenger. Same. They are praising him because he have a, a, a wife. She is six years old. And because he went to his own son and he flirted with the wife when the husband is not there and he did occur and then he slept with her and they are praising That's him it. they are praising That's him it. because the muslim they accuse him that he stole an underwear is that correct that's not true what if i show you the proof go ahead it's not true what if it's true what you will do what do you mean what if true well, what if christianity okay. let, let, us, like, let us let us talk first about underwear is underwear something special in islam no so why a prophet wouldn't steal it uh, why, why are you saying these things can we just focus on on the things that you came we before? are focusing on the thing because you are praising a man who was accused by his followers that he stole underwear i don't know just you know it's, it's my don't tell me when don't they, tell me i don't know you don't know i, I know God. Listen, listen, you don't know, you, you don't, you don't know, I know, chapter 3, verse 161, open it. And you are the one who said to me, the trustworthy, open the trustworthy, your scars, anyone you choose, and tell me what this story is about. It is the Muslims accusing the Prophet that he took an underwear, it was red by the way. Which, which verse? Chapter 3, verse number 161, I call it the, the underwear chapter. But in fact, it's called Ali Umran. I don't know even what this has to do with Ali Umran. I mean, this Quran is really stupid ma ma mental. The chapter name is about the families of Musas, and then the story of the pant is missing is there. What does this have to do with Musas? 
What does this have to do with Jesus? What does this have to do with Yahya? A guy was accused that he took a panty. Why it's even in the book of God? That doesn't say that. I don't know where you're getting the underwear okay, from. Tell me what this says. It says he took something illegally, correct? They accuse mm -hmm. him to be a thief. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Who is the one who accused the Prophet to be a thief? Is the it... Sahaba, but no, no, that's what they assumed. Who, who, who assumed? The Sahaba. Exactly. Can you believe that the disciple of Muhammad, they accused their boss that he is a thief? They didn't accuse, they thought, they had to check, they went friend, to check. When you say they thought, that means they are saying he is a thief. What thought? They, we, no, we, no, I we, read the text thought, on this. Listen, listen, he, I, he I took... thought that you are a thief, Ahmed. I thought. What do you mean you with? Why this thought come to their head? Why, why a man who is everybody praising him, as you said, Allah praise him, and just praise him, everybody praise him, the whole world is busy with him. And now suddenly, okay. He is a person who is accused by his own followers, his companions, that he took a panty from the drawer of a Jew. And by the way, okay. what they are fighting about is about the clothing they stole from the Jews. How do you know that? Well, the stories, you know, some Muslims they say from Quraysh, some Muslims they say from the Jews, but in the end, it says here, it says, it says booty. Do you see the word booty? Yeah, okay. Booty okay. is just from do you, the war. Do you, know, do you know the song that says, shake your booty? Check the tafsir. That's not true. You're, okay. not, you're not saying that. Check the tafsir. Okay, I will go and check the tafsir. Let us check the booty tafsir. Chapter don't 3, verse number... Okay, hold on. This is, this is the tafsir. And now you will say to me, I don't accept the tafsir. Hmm, let us see. Uh, you're going to show me like Shia Ibn Kathir or something. Obviously, Ibn, I'm not going to... Ibn Kathir is Shia? No, I'm saying it like a Shia version of him. Ah, Shia version of him. There's Shia version of him. This is tafsir of Jalalain. Do you know Jalalain? He's a Sunni, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. It says here, when some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, and some Muslims began, some people began to say perhaps the Prophet took it. The following verse revealed, it's not for a Prophet to be a thief. Is that true? Okay. Have you ever heard of a God? He makes such a verse. What's the issue? I will tell you what the issue. You see, I have a, my cousin, his name is Detective Columbus. When you arrive to the door, he say uh, one, one thing, you know. So I have one thing to ask you. If the one is talking is Allah, and the Prophet was being accused that he stole an underwear, shouldn't Allah tell us who took it and that will make Allah God? All what he said, he did not took it. I mean, what kind of God this God is? Isn't it Allah is the one who knows everything? What about Allah? He says to them, somebody took it because somebody took it. It was there. So this God, why he don't tell us who is the one who took the panty? If it is not Muhammad, the guy is leaving to the door. Detective Columbus, he said one thing. I just have a question, one thing. Uh, why God, Allah, did not tell you who is the one who took the panty? Isn't he all-knowing? So now it is time for Allah to practice his uh, skills, his power. The Prophet himself is being accused that he steal panties, maybe to sniff them. You know, some people, they have a habit to sniff panties of women. So when the Prophet was accused by his own followers, that didn't tell us many things, that his followers are a bunch of scumbag. Because what kind of a followers they accuse? They're a Prophet. This is not the enemy. This is not the Jews or the Christians. This is the one who are with him, the, the, the most close ones, the ones who became a caliphate later. How they accuse their prophet of a theft and why Allah did not tell who is the one who took it. Go ahead, Ahmed. Why would he need to tell? All he needs to say is that he didn't. Be take because it. they accuse Muhammad to be a thief. You see? Yeah, and listen. If I, I have it, let's say I have a security camera in your home. And I saw a cat coming and stealing the fish. And then your mom, with my respect to her, she came and she said, Ahmad, shame on you. You took the fish. And I saw that that's not true. So isn't it my duty to say it was the cat, not Ahmad? You don't need to. No, he's infallible. Why? What infallible? Guys, he's infallible. 
my friend, your, your prophet, he have a flat tire all the time. What inflammable? Listen, he is a flammable. So he has been accused of his theft. Why Allah don't show his power? Listen, listen, Jesus, Jesus in the Quran, he can tell you what you hide in your houses. He can tell you even what you ate. Now, yes. the prophet, he been accused that he took a panty. Why does God, all what he said, it is not Muhammad who took it. That is a proof actually that Muhammad is the one who took it. Because if it's somebody else, then Allah will say, go to the house of this guy. Go under the pillow. Move the pillow. And you will find the panty. And then okay, the fear. So look what happened now. This verse confirmed that the one who stole the panty is Muhammad. Okay, well, you know, you know, Surah Al-Baqarah, you know the story of it? You know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me.